Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. Thank you for checking out my videos. Go to thecombatsystem.com for all your mixed martial arts needs. And please subscribe to my YouTube page. Make sure to go to thecombatsystem.com and subscribe to my YouTube page. Me, and it was a good time. Thank you very much. Thank for you. Thank um, for helping me. Uh, make sure to subscribe to this guy's uh, channel, Dan the Wolfman. Uh, you respect the game, man. You know the game. You know what you're talking about. And uh, yeah, uh, he's pretty credible. Well, thank you, sir. Here's Chinzo Machida, the first to get off the cage in this very interesting way. That no one really noticed that. And here's Edson Barboza. The only times he gets off the cage versus the much better rest, Khabib. That was in the first round. Here's in the third round. Does it again. No, that is not just typical underhook wrestling. No, it's not just typical grabbing the neck, Muay Thai neck spin. These are very different ways. And here's a very first ever in MMA by Francis Naganu versus the much better wrestler, Stipe. Look at that. Tweaks his neck. Hi guys, let me explain to you what this video is about. This is my combatives anti-cage tactics for MMA and military and law enforcement. I have an hour seminar vid explaining all this. I taught years ago on my YouTube page and then I also made a highlight version that will actually be included in this video that obviously got popular and different MMA coaches around the world I'm sure have seen. I first taught the throat shove and head twist to Chinzo and Lyoto Machida in 2012 when helping Lyoto prepare for Ryan Bader. As we just saw, Chinzo was the first to use the throat shove, and he almost turned it in the head twist and then bailed, in MMA, and others have followed, including Edson Barboza. Just like I've preached, while you must know wrestling, when there is a huge disparity in wrestling ability, a three-month camp with a wrestling coach will make up for a lifetime of difference. Only the anti-cage tactics I developed from military law enforcement, so if they get shoved into a wall during the entry, they can quickly get out. I also developed it because I feel very bad, because I actually suggested it to Randy Couture when working on him in the, uh, on the movie Red Belt. After we got off set at a documentary showing later that I was invited to, I raised my hand during the Q&A and I suggested to Randy against the very dangerous Gonzaga with his dangerous jiu-jitsu and dangerous striking he just knocked out Krokop he should use his Greco-Roman wrestling to drive him to the cage and control him there so basically me suggesting to Randy uh, developed wall install and I feel very bad for making fights boring so I try to get these tactics out there to make fights more exciting as you see the only times Barboza and Nagano basically got off the cage against the much better wrestlers Khabib and Stipe were with the easiest of the anti-cage tactics, the throat shove and the head twist, but there's more to it that I could teach fighters. You'll see clips of this here. Stay tuned for all the clips and uh, me using it against a very good wrestler and me explaining everything to you. I hope you enjoy the video. Thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you. Just one time showing you guys more of these clips used in the UFC at the very highest level against the very best wrestlers was a huge disparity of wrestling ability and uh, here I will get in uh, showing you some of these techniques not only the throw shove and the head twist but many other techniques as well and lots of footage of me using these types of techniques biomechanics uh, inspiring against better wrestlers and uh, so forth so hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Thumbs up, share, subscribe. Really try to understand what's going on. Break a structure, take him down really fast.
this is very effective. Push me in the cage. Down a little bit. All I do is reach, kick them. Now that's the combative way if I want him to stay standing in case there's multiple opponents. So drag me around a little bit so it's realistic. Outside, we're moving around. Okay. Cruise the next Thank you. <laughs> and try it. Then I'd probably go to like here and get the knockout and then knees or whatever. But I'd probably go to the elbows immediately. So you could be overhooked in here and looking for the how works this. See, I'm strong in this position. Pinning me in here. He's whatever. Oh god. <laughs> Okay, and that's that's life. Okay, this is combative stuff I teach for, you know, law enforcement, street, that kind of thing. You'll learn this later. I can really strike this guy. You're ah. folding now. Also, maybe I get in here, and he's kneeing me and whatever. This is totally MMA legal here. I can do this. Okay, people do not think a neck really should be sorry. You right? Quite that in the seminar. <laughs> so you go ahead and hit me a little bit, we'll fight. Shh, shh, go, go fight. Okay. This is stuff. This is the next level of MMA. So someday you'll get to this level. <laughs> Out a little bit. Boom. Boom. Elbow. Elbow. Just feel this neck. So I'm here. Oh, oh, oh God, he's getting me good. Oh, it's a word. Oh, sorry. Can I have it in there? So it's realistic. Nice. I'm doing this right now. When I could do that, and I could do shoot, sprawl with my body weight at the same time. Now imagine someone shoots in on the double, and I go like that. We're here. Here's my take down the fence. In the corner. Here. Now, if I need to hit, and I work for this cross face, and maybe take it back here. So here we are guys, this is me pressure testing my theories I'm against a much better wrestler that was a throw shove here and upcoming you'll see a head twist. And this guy was a lifelong wrestler, this was back in 2012 I believe. Um, and um, this is at the highest on academy. North Hollywood, Gokor's beautiful place, and Gene LaBelle's been there forever. That's one of the four black belts I got, besides BJJ, Daito Juko Kudo, and Taekwondo. Of course, I've trained my whole life in all kinds of martial arts. Head twist to a bit of a throat shove, face shove there. Now, look how lately I punched his back. Had I really punched his back, I would bend his spine, breaking his structure in different ways, which can manipulate the body. I'm fairly lightly slapping his back here with the back of my forearm. If I really did it, he would drop way down low. And then he can attack the neck, limp leg out, cross face, etc. Especially after a couple of them. But this was beta testing and proving that my theories had validity. This was the ninth round we, uh, I went this day. And the 8th round and ninth round are together is a video on my page. You can see this guy was scrambling, chain wrestling really, really well. I was actually surprised out in the open the 8th round he didn't manage to get me down. Fast and uh, tricky wrestler. Getting loose, getting out of there. Um, some more footage here. You'll see uh, a head twist takedown. 
And then uh, two on one sparring, another head test to keep them done live. So I think in different ways I prove that this stuff is valid. There's enough people here that are bigger, not smaller. There's a UFC fighter, I do the jack in the box too. Um, you say, well, those people are no good. There's a blue belt that was also a pro fighter. You'll see. Um, a lot of what's going on. Uh, being way back down, grab this, lift this knee, and put it in a spine to hyperextend the shoulder blade area and spread him out more arrow style. Okay? So, this is my street defense because it's faster in case there's multiple opponents. So, this is the structure here, arches back, use my shoulder, biomechanically, take him down. I gotta go in at least an inch with my palm. Ready? And then I'm on someone else. Okay. Yeah. okay, and another one. Let's put Jack back in the box. You can see me do this live and sparring a few times. No one knows it. It looks like magic. Uh, I can't really explain it now, but it's vibrations in the spine. I have another video on it. Here. Very easy. Okay, so maybe I wanted to stay standing and get him down or against the cage. I'll use this kind of takedown if someone's pinning me against the cage. One more time here. It's really easy from this position. I can get it from other positions, but he's very isolated. Here. Okay. And just for grins, uh, let's say we're clinch fighting. I got a front naked choke on him, it looks like, right? Front naked choke, take down. <sighs> Boom. It's really cool. You can clash in the clinch a lot and just do that one. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe. I just wanted to show you other things that were out there. Thanks. Okay. I want you to. <laughs> Go ahead and hit me a little bit, we'll fight. Shh, shh, go, go fight. <laughs> See the spinal slaps working again. This guy fought in the UFC in Ryzen. You may recognize him. Wonder if you figure that out. Yes, of course I'm bigger. But I think I've proved I can do this to people of all size. Front naked takedown coming up. This guy fights in uh, Brave Fight and uh, Deep a couple times. And there against a bigger guy. Look at that. What Wiggles do. And here grappling live against a bigger 250 pound guy. Beginner, but still. Watch how it gets useful there where his spine bends and it makes him go backwards. People don't like having their spines compressed. The S curve in the spine and the vertebrae simply do not allow it. Now it takes touch. Little Dan Severn special there. Okay. Okay. Hope you guys saw that. You can stop a takedown simply with a punch slash cross face. Redirecting his neck, breaks his structure, spins him spirally. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Thank you. Vibrations on the spine, the spine's a curve, it can't handle it in the vertebrae. High level shit right here, but it works. Here, I mean, I might do other things, I might cheat work and stuff like this, but here, if it's front on, I can draw my way. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. here. Thank you for checking out my videos. Go to thecombatsystem.com for all your mixed martial arts needs, and please subscribe to my YouTube page. Make sure to go to thecombatsystem.com and subscribe to my YouTube page. Compounding me.